is up, everybody? Hello! Welcome to today's review. It's time Goku has decided to grace us with his presence after a long hiatus and good God knows how many delays uh, this boy has gotten. The New York Comic Con edition. Yeah, it's, it's that long ago, October of last year. We've waited this long. He's supposed to come out in April, but of course, P Bandai loves their shipping delays, but we're gonna do it anyways. We're just gonna act like everything's fine, nothing happened, and it's just gonna be a great time. So Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku, Kaioken event exclusive color edition. SH figures to be exact. Yes, this boy looking nice in the box. Like, I love the box art for the tour exclusives and I really hope they don't change it this year because it's it's starting to make a beautiful palette in, in my closet back there. I really, really want to see what they come up with next. And I love the fact that they actually put a red aura behind the box. Uh, I'm, I'm a freak about boxes. I think they're really cool and this is no exception. And I don't think there's ever been a event exclusive bootleg per se, but this is the things you want to check for just in case or something if you want to make sure the box is looking pristine. You want to look for the Toei Animation Funimations Dragon Ball Super, the event exclusive little just like, oh, look at special it is, Tamashii Nations, Bandai, and of course that Tamashii Nations quality sticker seal of approval. Like I said, the box art is looking glorious on the front, on the side here going good. You got that walking stance that he's going for. Now, yes, I feel like this box and everything about this release is targeted right at demoniacal fit. We are going to do a comparison, so please stay tuned for that. And then on the other side, you got that. That's the side that's gonna be showing in my thing here just because it's gonna look so nice with the rest of them. And then on the back, you got some uh, nice little product shots showing off and glossy to the max this boy is. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get Son Goku out of the box. Oh, look at that, look at this, Son Goku out of the box. You got three pairs of interchangeable hands, three interchangeable face plates and then you know when I see it I'm just like good god does that look good but man do I want some cotton candy right now that <laughs> that looks great uh so this is one of the biggest things that this comes with here as far as like like a ooh do you really want this I think this little aura piece is awesome and I'm I think I'm just gonna have them stand in there doing ah! in the in the display there so without further ado everybody let's go ahead and get into this review all right and for articulation four Cotton Candy Goku. That's that's uh, that's the name for the rest of the review is Cotton Candy Goku. Can look up about that much. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably just the gloss that's on the screen here. But um, this Goku before he uh, before he started filming this little segment got a bath, a hot water bath, a hot water dousing because I've seen some things with this figure that are quite unsettling as far as QC goes and I want to take every single precaution that I possibly can to make sure that he doesn't break. So I recommend you do the same thing if you haven't got yours or if you're looking in the market to get yours. Uh, so hot water bath, just, just a great, great way to start things off here. Looking down like that, can tilt like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, see? Okay, and then full 360, sure, whatever. And now as far as the wingspan, you know, impossible and ugly. <laughs> so wingspan about that much can go full 360 like that, which is great. A bicep swivel and a double jointed arm, which you can do like that. And then the one of the things I saw online was the wrist peg breaking there. The hot water bath completely cleared that up. So that's, that's pretty nice. Now, as far as the ab crunch, not 
that's, that's what you're gonna get. That's that's not really much. And then Limbo style is much more impressive. You can do like so. Uh, so great. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Now I did get to show off the butterfly joints right there. Ooh, and then you got the blue right there. So the, the actual Kaoken skin isn't showing, which is nice. Uh, now the splitting action. Ha. Okay, there you go. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Good, a pretty good split. Not the greatest I've seen, but I will say a pretty good split thus far. And a thigh cut right there, which is pretty nice. And you can go, ee, ee. Okay, uh, actually just put put that down. That's that's what it's gonna be for his kick. And then you got another cute little, uh, Oh, gymnastic split right there. Don't know why you do it, but I just want to make sure. Double jointed knees, which are very, very nice range of motion. Toes go down like so, go up like yeah, and you got a little bit of an ankle rocker movement uh, like so, and then ooh, toe pivot action. Oh my Jesus, son Goku, calm your can cotton candy ass down. You hear me? Stop it. Right there. Okay, so articulation. I have not had any problems. So, I think, I think right now it's, it's, I'm going to contribute it to the hot water bath there. Um, I don't want to know what he would have been like without the hot water bath. Uh, he's, he's a lot more pliable. He's ready. He's ready for some action. And I do like that. So I would totally recommend it if you want to get the most out of your articulation for sun. Cotton Candy Goku. Yeah! All right, everybody. This is the meat and potatoes. This is the whole reason why we're doing this review. This is the whole reason why we're doing this comparison. Is we need to see the original. I don't want to say the original because honestly, Demoniacal Fit took the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan head sculpt from the, the Broly movie and then put that on the event exclusive Sign Goku body and then gave it some red tint and called it KO Kin. So who's copying who? It's 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 a vicious cycle. And I don't know whether to call this is uh the demoniacal fits one the original one because it came out sort of first or is this the is this the original one? I don't know. So we're 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 gonna we're gonna break it down here now. It, as you can see, already the face plates are different, but I want to go into that differently on the accessories here. Right now, we're just gonna look at the sculpting and the paint apps here. Right off the bat, I am absolutely blown away by the the, the reddish pinkish tint in the event exclusive Goku's hair. What in the actual you, you, you science, you Bill Nye the science over there at Tamashii Nations, you, you're crazy. Okay, the demoniacal fit very it's it's got a sparkle it's blue it's not translucent and that's that's where you're gonna see the biggest difference here now going down to the shirts the shirts are clearly a just a different different level and the event exclusive right here if we're gonna actually compare potatoes <laughs> uh i would say the event exclusives got that very nice very just like it's sparkly it's almost got like a glitter on the shirt it's a very very just shiny sheen uh, that you're getting here demon Eichel fit it's flat uh it does have some shading there so it that gives it some points against it which is nice now the the little skin piece in the shirt on the uh the event exclusive does look good uh, it looks like it almost matches the skin there now what i will say as far as the arms go look at the difference in the shade between the arms um now i'm gonna say it right here demon eichel fent went all out on the shading as far as the biceps go uh and the the forearms there uh, tamashi nations i don't want to say lazy but it's pink that's that's it's it's a light it's a, almost a they took the skin palette and was like okay change the hue just a little bit and we're we'll call it ko Ken. cool 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 and but the rest of it looks good it's identical i would say like all of the scratches all of the scuffs on the shirts they're looking 
uh, absolutely great. Now, uh, it's something about the, the Tor exclusive, which is just winning me. That sparkle is just <laughs> so shiny. And now going down here to a uh, Goku booty shot, the head, the pieces, the the uh, the pants, they're different. Uh, totally different sheen there. And I would say it's because of the, the gloss that the Kaoken event exclusive one gets. Uh, the rest of it, it's got... Uh, the the demonical fit is uh, it's got some shading around some spots which gives it some points because Tamashi just doesn't do that anymore but Tamashi does have glitter on the pants there so that's cool uh, going over here to the rips there uh, matching both respective uh, skin colors so that's good 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 gracious crotch shot of Goku's uh, both of them looking great it's the gloss uh, the belt matches on both actually the belt matches the undershirt and the the uh, little wristbands there uh, compared to that the belt does not match the undershirt there uh, so that's that's a little bit of uh, a, a difference there going here to the knees you've got same thing uh, scuffs looking great it's it's just the gloss it's just the glitter now the boots boots looking fantastic you got the glitter over there on the event exclusive and then you got a flat uh, scuffy on the demoniacal fit so I don't know it depends do you like glitter do you like arts and crafts uh, cotton candy Goku or do you want a just a more sunburnt sand tanned demoniacal fit uh, Goku let me know now this is not the only thing we're gonna do for the paint apps and sculpting here because I wanted to see I wanted to see what it was gonna look like for the this and this is uh event exclusive versus kaoken uh goku uh official release from tamashi it does not look like the skin tones match which is such a bitch oh my god it's upsetting what i was wanting to switch these around we're still going to check it in the compatibility check but the skin tones do not match at all now you do have the matching gloss on both of them that, though that looks nice i would say the exclusives got some more some more glitter look to the uh, uh to their pants instead of that and then over down here uh, all of it but it, like look skin tones don't match they're supposed to both be ko kin just because one's blue does not mean it needs to be less red no no the red needs to match the same and you need to do do it right tamashi you had one job yeah all right like we said we're just diving right into it full accessories for the event exclusive cotton candy go go that face is different right yeah I, I honestly think that face is totally different. Now, it's something about the mouth, the nose that almost looks a little wider. The Morty mouth is not so Morty mouthish. It's a, it's a very nice eyebrow furrow. In the past here, we've been getting some legit Morty mouths. That's, that's what they look like. And the underlining around the eyes are different completely uh, from the demoniacal fit. And also you can see that there is a Michael Bay little lens flare in the iris, which is what? What are you guys doing? Uh, you're doing too much, too extra. Now, I will say though, like the way those eyes are printed on there, they almost look 3D. They really do. And the eyebrows look great. Now moving over here to the side. You've got the anime eyebrows on point on event exclusive and a little messy on demoniacal fit there. Uh, I would say the demoniacal fit has a very strong lining around the eyes uh, that give it almost like a gowling look. Now, what I want to do is, because I was wondering, I was like, did they, did they change their face sculpt just so they didn't match demoniacal fit? And we know that this face plate or this headpiece is from the Broly movie uh, Goku. So I need to, yeah, I think the lips and the nose are different. Like the, oh my, what? Is that a new faceplate? Let me know in the comments below what you think. That looks like a new faceplate for this. Now I want to see the rest of them. So just keep it, keep it moving. Oh yeah, that's 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 so new. That's that's ridiculous. Okay, so you've got a 
sculpted Morty Mouth on the event exclusive. The lining on the event exclusive is also much more detailed. The smirk has got a very nice arc to it. The the other one looks good. I'm not harping on it at all. Uh, the faceplate, as you can see, the demonical fit all look like they just went to the, the beach and didn't get enough uh, sunscreen there. Uh, but honestly, that faceplate looks like completely new, so I need to see the, the Broly movie as well. Okay, so the eyes are painted on different, what I can see. Now the smile is the same, and it looks like the Morty mouth doesn't have like the the actual lining on it also the anime eyebrows over there to the side are much more spaced out over here on the event exclusive you get a very nice uh just distance between the two so th i wouldn't say this is a new face plate per se i think they did uh, they made the eyes wider and also gave it a lot more details on the underlining around the eyes which make it look like a new faceplate on this one at least the other one you can't tell me that's not a new faceplate it probably isn't but i am in the camp of no it's it's new okay you cannot tell me that you've ever liked the teeth faces from demoniacal fit they always have something going on something's always like <laughs> uh, and also there's like this weird yellow lining like around the mouth trying to give it some more detailed definition and it doesn't look good the eyes are squinting on the event exclusive the demonical fit is it's there it's fine the the irises look great the lining around the eyes on event exclusive looks great as well the lining under the eyes is giving it more definition and also making it looks like the cheeks are raised which is fantastic the mouth looks good in itself as well the eyebrows are matching the hair and also much more clean on the event exclusive there so that's that's what you're gonna see as well now I didn't also get to show off the back of the hair look at that iceberg cotton candy ass event exclusive that looks glorious gorgeous but it's all based off of your preference do you like translucent do you like uh, full solid with uh, some glitter let me know because I'm I'm starting to get onto this translucent bu bus here and you know we gotta see it. You know we gotta see it. And I'm gonna say the event exclusives, it's, it's got all the right details. I think it's the lining under the eyes, again, that makes the cheeks look more defined, look more real. Also, they've also got a squinty look, which is great. The over there, the Broly movie, uh, it's a $40 figure and uh, you can definitely tell. So the lining on the nose there, you don't see that on the event exclusive. It looks like it's more sculpted in than actually lined there. I don't know if I like that or not. I think I like it. Um, I, it's going for a little bit more subtle of a look. And then over here, the eyebrows much more clean on the event exclusive. Oh my God, the difference is insane. Look at that. The differentiation in the mouth is all that you need to know. You've got the tongue, the dark part in the mouth. The teeth look much more clean compared to Demon Eichel Fit. Demon Eichel Fit still has that uh, look to it. The eyebrows almost look like they're popping off the face, which is great. The lining, again, just being the star of these face plates and giving it a more raised look. The cheeks look more raised and also the pupils look fantastic. The eyes are squinty. And then over here to the side, messy. Messy on Demon Echo Fit and then also clean and glorious on the event exclusive, which honestly, I'm not harping on Demon Echo Fit. I'm just showing you a comparison because I want you to know the differences in the two and also to let you know what's going on. Plus, Demon Echo Fit does not have the same resources as Tamashi Nations Go, so I'm just gonna say it. Tamashii Nations is obviously going to be better in this regard. I just want you to see the differences in the two. We're not going to do the Goku from Broly because we've already gotten the picture that it's the cheeks that are making it look a lot more lively. But God, <laughs> do these faceplates look great?
Yeah. And continuing for accessories, we have got the event exclusive aura that comes with the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue aura in the middle there. And then on the bottom, you've got some nice little cotton candy wrappers. Uh, and then at the top there, that's that's the Kaoken part. That's really cool. Now, I wanted to show this off one because that's what it comes with. And that's kind of what makes this figure pretty cool and stand out Two. Demonical Fit did their own thing, and I gotta say, like, I I really like this one. It's it's cool. It's got a very cool look to it, and the mixing and matching of the the blue there in the bottom little feet pieces, great. I think Demonical Fit's like if you take this little clip stand out, if you just edit that out and compare it to what it looks like in the show, Demonical Fit's is really cool too so it depends on do you want physical or do you want something that looks like it's from the show so that's that's it for the auras i just wanted to show that off just a little bit to be like what's the difference clearly you know the difference but you know mix and match potato potato but tomato cut the yeah all right as we know all goku reviews are ca capped off or I would say it's not a Goku review without a compatibility check and it's not gonna be too long but there are some things that we need to check here so one I want to see if the demonical fit hairpiece fits on the event exclusive and vice versa and so it's probably also going to be just a little long so long in the tooth as they say so I'd like to just hit do and there we go as you can see uh, the skin tone isn't as different as I thought it was gonna be but 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 if you can see Goku's kind of looking down and that is not on purpose see like this is this is extremely extremely loose demonical fits body and uh, the event exclusive looks good very solid very nice now I want to at least see if Goku's faceplate will fit on the Demonical Fit hairpiece as well. So, and everything fits. Now, I will say Demonical Fit's face in the event exclusive hairpiece will fall out if you look at it the wrong way. <laughs> like the hair, the bangs are the only thing that's holding this together. But it's it, it, it's kind of nice to know. Other than other than this, like see see how loose it is. As we said before. It's kind of nice to know that if you have a different preference on the hairs, you can make it happen. Yeah. All right, and the next one we've got is Kaoken Goku and Event Exclusive Goku. I really don't think this is going to work because you can already see on the screen that the skin tones are just the wrong, the wrong. Just go ahead and... Oh, come on, Tamashii Nations. What are you doing? Look. Okay. Goku Blue over there on Kaoken's body does not look super bad. I feel like the skin tone doesn't mismatch as much because it's a lighter compared to the pinkish red skin on the, the arms there. Over here! What? This had so much potential to be such a, like, a great just compatibility like oh, look what I can do and look who I can have all tattered up and stuff, but it's not gonna be it. That just looks off. Also, Kaoken Goku's face is a lot more chubby, a lot more wider, and you can tell it's it's a different, uh, I would say, sculpt of the faceplate there. So that's also going to be a detriment, and it sucks because, God, it would have been so cool. I'm still going to do something with this right here, but <sighs> so much potential, man. Oh, wasted. I am sad that Demon Eagle fits almost is a little better than the official release of Tamashii Nations there. So just... Keep on going on with the review. Yeah, and moving on, we got cotton candies, fist of fisticuffs, some of course, some key blast hands. Of course, come on, come on, it's go go. Honestly, some messy technique hands. Look at the cut on that hand, and then also over there by the thumb. What is, what is that? A cocaine thumb? Ooh, and it's come here, man. <laughs> Did you think you were watching the sub of uh, Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, no, you were. It was just me making cat noises. Yeah. And Cotton Candy Goku stands at about what's that? 17 centimeters with that anime as hair, and then also 14 centimeters at the forehead, which is gonna equivalent to five and a half inches, and then almost six and a half, six and three quarters. 
you do, don't, don't, don't split hair. There's enough hair to go around to not split it. So, seems fine, seems, seems okay, but we won't know until we bring out the circus. And would you look at that, the Jolly Rancher Circus is in town. Okay. It's identical. It's perfect. Every single one of them matches where they need to be. Even the demoniacal fit over there. Had to throw him in there because he has been our biggest comparison when it comes to this review here. But if you're wondering, just gotta let you know, from left to right, we have got SH Fig Arts, KO Ken Goku, SH Fig Arts, Event Exclusive Super Saiyan God Goku, SH Fig Arts, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue Goku from the Broly movie. Then our boy in question, Cotton Candy Goku, Demoniacal Fits, Cotton Candy Goku as well. We have got the Event Exclusive Sign Goku, which I believe this is... Come in full circle, this is where it all started was Sign Goku, and then over there to the very far right, you've got SH Big Ops Ultra Instinct Mastered UI Edition, whatever, I know I've said it like, that was like a, a redundant of way of naming that, but honestly, this looks really good. I do want to see what it looks like compared with Jiren and Vegeta and maybe Frieza. Looks pretty darn good. And can you guess what I have my Jiren doing in my in my uh, display over there? <laughs> yeah, it's totally happening. But the Vegeta and Goku look great together, especially with the gloss that's going on. And then might as well add more gloss with the Golden Frieza over there, which is the event exclusive Frieza. Mind you, just wanna just wanna clear that up. So overall, I think this Goku fits perfectly with the God knows how many Goku figures that we have thus far. With all of that being said, will Kaioken Blue Goku's translucent hair and shiny effects be enough to give him the got to freaking a habit award? Or will it be just that? An unneeded shiny coat of paint? Find out after this short break. Ladies and gentle co actors, are you entertained? I gotta ask this, what are you thinking about the event exclusive New York Comic Con Son Goku Kaoken Blue Edition? Every single time I'm just like, why so much? I'm, well, how do I say this? How do I say this? One, it's it's been a while, It, it it's, I don't want to say it's too far, too gone, too too late to get this figure because honestly, it's an awesome figure. It is so so cool. The the gloss to it, the the sparkles, the translucent hair is winning me over every single second that I look at it. I'm not a fan of Goku, you know this. However, this Goku is definitely on on that type of level here, especially for an event exclusive. If I had to rate them all, this would be the best event exclusive we've gotten this year. It has the most potential, the most color changing, and the most improvement on the face plates there. So that's just me. So my gripes, I, you know my biggest gripe. My biggest gripe is the Kaokin skin color does not match the original SH Fig Arts Kaokin Goku, which makes things not match. Everything else, 
I can't think of anything. The face plates are gorgeous. Um, I have not had any type of QC or articulation issues. None, nothing has popped out. Okay, I take it back. A leg popped out, but that's because I was trying to get them to do that. Yeah, that, that one pose that we all know that Goku does. Other than that, I, I don't think I have any gripes other than the skin color. And the skin color is going to be the biggest gripe for me. Uh, and it is... I don't want to say it's detrimental, but it does play a part into how I feel about this character. Everything else is fantastic. I love it, but at the end of the day, this is an event exclusive. This is a colored version of an original release that we've gotten thus far. Not an original release, I take that back. Actually, Son Goku came out as a original release or just a regular release and not as a uh, event exclusive there. So that's what this is. Do you have demoniacal fits, Kaioken Goku? Do you have this one? Do you uh, do, do you care too much about the character? I don't know. That that's all up to you. If I had to say it, actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you my rating first. My rating scale is hate it, like it, love it, hot <laughs> to freaking have it. And I'm going to give this boy a love it. I think the skin color is a giant detriment to what this character, what this figure could have been. If you have the demoniacal fit, I think it's a great placeholder. I don't think it holds it the candle to this one. This one is obviously the better version uh, and uh, all of it is just it's on point but i don't i won't give it a got to freaking have it one because the skin color two it is just a recolored version um i will say this is the quintessential kaioken blue goku i will say that there's a lot of them out there there's like three okay there's three there's three out there and this is the quintessential four we're not gonna count Kongs. That's that's terrible. I'm I'm sorry, Kong Studio. If you're out there watching this, you don't get to play in that race. So love it. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Do you think I'm too hard on the skin color? Do you think it's just right? Have you had QC issues with this release? If you got him, because I would I would like to know. And uh, did you do the hot water bath before uh, the QC issues happened or after? Let me know, because I'm really curious. I've seen a lot of stuff on online. Mine, luckily, did not have anything happen with that. But if you like those shots going on over there in between the break and whatnot, make sure and head on over to LeCompton underscore on Instagram. Give them a like, love, follow, whatever you got to do. Stay tuned next week. <laughs> I like I'm I'm supposed to hype up my, my videos. I get that. I I just for the life of me cannot hype this this one up because we already have this figure. It, it took a Dragon Ball slot in the Namek line, and I am most salty. We've got final form, fourth form Frieza coming in for the Namek release with the glowing Namekian Dragon Ball. So stay tuned for that. It will be a comparison because there's a, a, another release out there that I think makes this release just pointless. I could be wrong. Stay tuned. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. If why not make it a two oh one notification bell and hit that bell right up there. And guys, thank you so much for watching this, and until next time, Compton out. <laughs>